Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today's video is going to be all about my 10 tips for surviving infertility in TTC. So I know it's been a little while since I've been on here. Um, I've kind of had some family stuff going on lately, just a lot of personal um, things. And I just wanted to take a moment today and give you guys my top 10 tips for surviving infertility and TTC. I feel like there's a lot of videos out there where women give their advice on how they got pregnant, um, but I'm not yet pregnant. I'm still dealing with infertility, still trying to conceive, and um, getting some help on that is, in my opinion, really, really important. You shouldn't have to go through all this alone. I know I haven't gone through it by myself, and so I wanna make sure that I can give that advice to other people. Um, I've got some stuff coming up in terms of appointments and things, and so those will be in my next couple of videos. But today we're just gonna talk about my 10 tips for getting through your TTC journey. So I have my list of my tips here. I went ahead and wrote them down so I didn't forget anything. So that's what I'm looking at. I'm gonna try to get through this without Bailey acting crazy, so we will see. All right, tip number one for getting through the TTC journey is know your insurance. So we deal with TRICARE with Anaya being in the military and things are really different with TRICARE. They cover some stuff, they don't cover other things and every insurance company is different. Um, most insurance companies won't pay anything toward like an in vitro cycle or IUI, but some companies cover your testing and some companies don't. Some insurances will cover the medication and some won't. So there's a lot of things about your insurance that you really wanna make sure you understand before you get into actually trying to get pregnant. Um, it's no fun to show up at the doctor's office after a procedure or after some blood work and get smacked with a big bill. So make sure you understand your insurance company. You can usually just call your doctor's office and ask how they code different things and give those codes to your insurance company and make sure that you know what is and is not covered. Tip number two is to do your research. So understanding infertility, understanding TTC is really important and there's a lot of, of resources out there where you can do some research and find out what everything is and what everything means. Um, understanding all the acronyms, there's a lot of abbreviations in the world of trying to conceive. Um, understanding different um, syndromes and understanding different medications. It's all really important. Um, so just do your research. Understand what it is that you're going through, what um, you're going to be going through, and just kind of getting all the information on that. Tip number three is to find a great doctor. So your first trip to the doctor, whether it's a regular OBGYN or a fertility specialist like an RE, um, might not be the best fit for you. Um, some people really want a doctor that's warm and fuzzy. Some people want one that's more straightforward. We found in our experience that having my doctor, he's not a warm person, but he's very honest and he's very straightforward with us. So finding a good doctor, it might not be the first doctor, it might not be the doctor right down the street. Um, that's really important because you can't, you can't really go through the process of trying to get pregnant if you're not with a doctor that you feel comfortable with. So it's really important that you find a doctor that you can talk to, find a doctor that you're comfortable with, that your significant other is comfortable with, and recognize that it might not be the first doctor you go to. Um, it might not be the doctor that you get referred to. So just make sure that you're finding a doctor that you feel comfortable with. And if you don't feel comfortable, find another doctor. It's just that simple. Um, tip number four is to communicate. And this is, um, when I say communicate, I mean with everyone involved in your TTC journey. So make sure that you're really talking to your significant other, um, really communicating your feelings, explaining how things are going, making sure that they feel involved. Communicate with your parents if they're involved. Be sure to communicate with your doctor. It's really important that you have a doctor you can talk to. And overall, just communicate. Just make sure to explain things, um, explain your feelings. Don't keep it all bottled up. It's not, this is not a solo journey, you know? It, you can't go through this process by yourself. So it's really important that you're communicating, finding someone that you can talk to, making sure that you keep everyone in the loop, and realize that sometimes it's really good to talk about that kind of stuff and to kind of get those feelings off your chest. Um, tip number five is to find a good support system. So for some people that means you know, just them and their significant other. But I can tell you that, that that's, for me, that wasn't always the best. So find a Facebook group or make an anonymous Instagram page or YouTube or anything, but find a support system. Find other people that are supporting you in your TTC journey 
maybe some people that have gone through it themselves, some people that really understand the struggles of trying to get pregnant, and find someone or a group of someone that you can lean on. Unfortunately, your BFF might not be the best person to talk to, um, the people that you work with might not be the best people to talk to. It just really depends, but find someone who understands, find someone who is supportive, and someone that is really gonna be there for you throughout your journey. Tip number six is to expect setbacks. So if you've watched my first couple of videos, you know that we have experienced so many setbacks. We were on Clomid and then we ended up finding out my fallopian tubes were blocked and then surgery and then this and then that. And it felt like every time we took a step forward, we took three steps back. But it's it can be really easy to get down on yourself when you feel like nothing is going your way. But if you expect to have setbacks and expect that maybe things aren't gonna be perfect, it makes it a little bit easier to deal with. So expect that things aren't gonna go your way. Expect that maybe the first appointment that you go to isn't gonna be the best, or you're gonna to have to have five procedures or tests done before you actually can do anything. It's just really important to expect those things um, and prepare for them. If you know that they're possible, then you can be more prepared and a little bit less disappointed maybe the next time. Tip number seven is allow yourself to have emotions. It's okay to be upset that you're not pregnant. It's okay to feel like you're one pregnancy announcement away from just losing it on someone. Um, sometimes allowing yourself to have emotions means that you have to cut certain people out of your life or you have to get off social media. Just allow yourself to feel. It's okay. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be angry. Um, it's okay to cry. It's okay to laugh. It's okay to have these emotions. Just make sure that you're really allowing yourself the emotional um, release of all these different emotions and how you feel about trying to get pregnant. It is a journey. You know, for some people it's a, a really short journey, but when you're in the midst of infertility and trying to conceive, it can be really emotional and allowing yourself to feel those emotions is really, really important. It's not good to keep all that bottled up. And this kind of ties in with communication. Allow yourself to feel things and then talk to your significant other about how you feel. Um, they might be feeling the same thing. So it's really important to remember you're allowed to have feelings about it and they don't always have to be positive. Tip number eight is to just be honest. Be honest with yourself, be honest with your doctor, be honest with your significant other, be honest with your support system. Just be honest. Be honest about what's happening to you and be honest about the journey that you're going through and how you feel and the things that you wanna communicate. Um, it's super important to be honest with your significant other. Obviously, you know, you wanna keep those lines of communication open, but it's really important to be honest with your doctor. You wanna make sure that your doctor knows everything that you've tried, every supplement, every weird thing that you think you've done um, while trying to get pregnant, it's important that you're communicating that to your doctor. And of course, be honest with yourself. Understand that maybe this isn't what you thought it was gonna be. And maybe you really thought you were gonna be pregnant six months ago and it just didn't happen, or a year ago, or five years ago. Um, just be honest with everyone involved in your TTC journey. Tip number nine, and this is probably, um, this is one that I've gotten from a few people in my support system, is to document. Whether you keep a journal or you record videos, even if you don't post them you know, to a platform, you just record them for yourself. Um, blogging, anything like that where you can keep track of what's going on and the treatments that you've done or haven't done or how you felt the day of you know, your last blood work or what the numbers were or anything like that. Just keep those things documented. When you finally have your baby, because you're going to have your baby, when you finally have your baby, you're gonna wanna think back and remember everything that you went through to get where you are. You know, you wanna make sure that, that you don't forget any of this. And for some people, it feels like this is a journey that's a million years long, and it can be easy to forget the things that you've gone through and the things that you've done. Also, if you find something that works for you in terms of helping you with your fertility or even just helping you get through the infertility journey, keeping a documented journal, video, blog, something of that nature will help you the next time if you have to go through the TTC journey again. So just documenting things, um, whether it's for yourself or for your significant other, or in the case of like this YouTube channel, I'm documenting for me, but I'm also documenting for everyone else who might be going through infertility. It's just really important so that you can keep track of everything that you've done. My last tip and tip number 10 is to live your life. TTC does not have to dictate your life. Infertility does not have to dictate who you are. 
Don't stop enjoying things because you're upset about trying to get pregnant. Or don't stop going out and hanging out with your friends because you're so tied up in trying to get pregnant. Live, live. Remember that you have a life outside of trying to get pregnant. And once you get pregnant, you're gonna have a life you wanna go back to. So live your life. Don't shut people out that are trying to be there for you. Don't shut out your significant other. Don't give up on your hobbies. You know, don't stop living because you're in this situation. It is a temporary situation. Whether or not you, you know, feel like it's ever gonna happen for you, this moment in your life is so temporary and you don't wanna throw away everything else that you've gone through or everything else that you have done to get to the point that you are because you're so upset about what's going on. Just live your life and if you ever forget, excuse me, if you ever forget about the types of things that you have going on or the types of things that you enjoy, reach out to that support system. Find new things that you like to do. Find new hobbies, find new clubs or new whatever um, that you like to do. Spend time with your significant other, but just remember to live your life. TTC and infertility does not have to dictate your life, okay? So those are my 10 tips for surviving infertility, for surviving the TTC journey. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the description box. Um, I will link my previous videos in the cards up here or down in the description box. Um, and I will link a few videos that I've watched about surviving the TTC journey and surviving infertility down below. Um, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss when I post another video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye guys.